All right, guys. So a little bit disappointed about a Twitter poll. I was kind of looking forward to doing the workout routine, but let's do cardio tips. That did win out. So we're going to go over how cardio can go affect fat loss and working out and getting done part of your workout routine. So we're going to go over a couple of things, and it's really cool because it's beneficial for myself because it's some things I can work on and improve on to get better with it's my cardiovascular health. But we're going to go over mostly how fat loss and cardiovascular aerobic exercise go hand in hand with each other and what the best way and safest ways to go for them. So let's get this going. All right, to start out, let's go over the basic things of why cardio is important to fitness and your health. So basically, uh, what cardio does is it helps with your heart. It has everything to do with your heart rate and your endurance levels. So that's crucial to having a long, healthy life and making sure your heart's in good condition. And endurance helps with everything. It helps with staying awake. It helps with pushing through your workouts. And just in general, it's a major part of keeping your body healthy. So it has that effect on your fitness, your health, and everything like that. So some of the forms of cardio that I've listed down are you can do rowing, you can do walking or stepping, you could do uh, cycling, you could do jump rope. So those are all things that you can do that are considered cardio and that will get your heart rate going up high and low. So basically what I want to go over now is how fat loss and cardio go hand in hand and what are the best ways to do it. And so basically what we have is um, lower to moderate work. So let's say like stepping and walking, that would be more uh, a lower moderate kind of exercise. That what that does is it gets your body in a level of it's burning more fat than it is calories. So basically fat loss comes to when your body's in a caloric deficit. So if you're and this is always everything. If your diet is not great, all the cardio in the world isn't going to happen with the fat loss. So a diet does play a crucial role in making sure that if you are doing cardio, that it's actually benefiting you and you are gaining the weight loss. Because if your diet shit, like all the people always say, you can't work a bad diet, and it is the truth. So basically, once your body's in a caloric deficit, that's where your body starts burning fat, where it doesn't have anything left to give and starts burning that reserve fat cells. So uh, with ho low intensity training, what that does for you is it gets your heart going and going at a moderate rate towards working and working and working and slowly burning with fat rates instead of the, just the calories in general. Then we have on the other hand is higher intensity training, which is it's burning more calories. It's burning fat still, but it's burning more calories just because your heart's working a lot harder. So it's naturally going to have to keep burning and burning and working and working harder versus lower moderate rate to where it's focusing more on burning the fats. So those are the two different trainings. So for example, the lower intensity training would be like I said, stepping or walking, maybe even rowing, depending on how, uh, what the rate you're going at. And then your more intense stuff would be uh, like running at a fast, like a full sprint, doing uh, cycling at a full sprint, uh, at full speed, jump roping, anything like that where it's high intensity, where it's constant, and you kind of don't, your body doesn't really get a break or it's not really at ease, that would be high intensity training right there. So kind of like a low intensity would be like 60 to 70, and then high intensity would be anywhere from 80 to 100. So uh, those are the two things right there that are very crucial to fat loss is making sure what you're burning. So if your diet is not point and you're not in a caloric deficit, then the cardio you're doing isn't really benefiting you. And then uh, you want to make sure that what you're trying to focus on. So if you're really trying to burn fat and you want to get that fat loss, then you should be doing a lower, slower rate and getting your body gradually trained to burn more fat. But if you're trying to burn just in general over calories, then you should be doing a higher intensive training to where if you maybe ate a little bit more than you should have, then you want to do more of that versus if you're just trying to burn fat and focus on your weight training and burning fat, I would say lower intensity would be better. All right, and just like with anything, there comes uh, some things that you shouldn't do when doing these things. So uh, too much cardio, just like anything, too much of something can be really bad. Typically, if you're doing cardio, you want to go anywhere from, I would say the standard is 30 minutes. If you're doing like a slow pace, uh, low intensity workout, maybe if you're at a higher pace, I would say 15 to 20 minutes. But I would say the standard is about 30 minutes if you're a beginner, if you're trying to get used to it, you want to get into pace. 
I would say 30 minutes is standard. I would say no more than an hour. If you're doing freaking two or three hours of cardio a day, it's too much on your body. It's not benefiting. You're not stimulating muscle growth, and it's just your body's, it's going to do more damage than good for you. So no longer than an hour. I would say 45 minutes honestly might be even too much, depending if you're a beginner or if you're uh, trying to build muscle and you want to sustain it if you're doing more than an hour, 45 minutes of cardio. So I would say that sweet spot would be 30 to 40 minutes. And if you're doing high intensity, you try to get that 15 to 20 minute range. And then uh, going over different kinds of training styles, like I said, the slow and high are the mo kind of the basic ones that you can do. But there is an alternative, and it's probably the the most efficient. I don't I don't want to say the best, but probably the most efficient when it comes to fat loss. It's actually my favorite style of training that I usually do, and it's hit training. Some people call it interval training, to where you're constantly getting your body at a high heart rate level and a low heart rate level. Where so you, for example, I do a minute high, a minute low. Some people do two minutes high, and then a minute low, and then a minute a minute high. But it's pretty much to gain your body in that constant mode of having to go back and forth between low and high. Your heart rate is constantly changing, so naturally you're going to burn more of a more fat than anything, and it just makes your workouts go a lot faster. And it's a lot more fun for me, honestly. That's what I like about it. It's a lot more fun than kind of just doing the same pace the whole workout. So uh, hit, hit interval training, for example, the way I do is on the stairmaster, and uh, you can do it on the treadmill. Pretty much what it's doing is just going high. So maybe going up to a level that's putting you at 80, 90 percent, and then coming back down to a level that's like 50 percent, and walking it for a minute, two minutes, three minutes, and then going high for the next two minutes, and then coming back down. That would be high interval training. That's one of the most efficient ways to train because it increases bur uh, fat burning hormones and it also uh, has a faster result of fat burning versus just doing the low intensity or high intensity because it's kind of a little bit of the best of both worlds where you're burning the calories but you're also still focusing on getting that fat burning and your body's in that constant mode of going high and low so it's working a little bit harder and you're getting more out of that workout. So that is one of my favorite saws right there. That's usually typically what I do, and I've actually seen good results from it. And I like it a lot just because it, it goes by so much faster than just going at the same speed throughout the whole workout or trying to like burn yourself out to where you're dying. I usually feel pretty good and healthy after that, that doing interval training. So uh, it's a really good form of, to get off. I would say you want to ease your way in first. So if you're going to do it and you're a beginner, um, Maybe start at a basic level, like where like you're literally going step by step and then going higher. Because this is a little bit harsh on your body, so you want to be careful and make sure you're doing it right and you're not doing too much on your body. The ideal time for HIIT training would probably be no more than 30 minutes. If you're doing 30 minutes of HIIT training, then you're probably in great health. But I would say shoot for the 15 to 20 minute mark and you'll be pretty solid and you'll get the results from there. So uh, the next thing I want to go over is kind of the don'ts of what you shouldn't be doing when you're doing cardio. And one of them, like I said, is overtraining, overdoing it. You never want to do too much cardio, no matter how much time you spend on that treadmill or Stairmaster or bike. If you're overworking your body or you're doing too much, you're not gonna see the results. You're gonna kill whatever progress you're making. If you are trying to build muscle or sustain muscle, it's gonna hurt that and affect that. I would say that if you're super overweight or you have a you know you have a high body fat percentage then maybe push yourself a little bit more just to stimulate that fat loss is okay but even then if you're not used to that type of training i would say it's not a good idea to do more than 30 minutes i i, I guess some people like to push themselves i'm one of them but i just feel like 30 to 40 minutes on card especially in the gym it's just a little bit too much if you're running outside then yeah that's different you're at a constant rate a constant body rate you're actually moving your body but if you're on the machine for more than 30 minutes i don't think that's the proper way to do it so uh that's one of the don'ts i want to say is don't overdo cardio no and i guess no matter how much you do it you're not gonna outwork that bad diet you're not gonna magically see a flat stomach the day for doing an extra 10 or 15 minutes of cardio you just uh need to keep in your levels and consistently keep doing it every day and day in and out so if you miss a day don't let it think like, oh, if I do an extra 20 minutes, it's going to help. No, just 
get that proper 30 to 40 minutes in and then next day keep doing it and just do that as many days as possible. My next don't is always make sure that you drink water. If you're already on a bad diet and you drink soda or you drink any kind of sugar or high caffeine drink, you're already at a disadvantage. And so if you're not drinking water before your work, you should always drink uh, water b before any fitness activity. If you're working out, if you're doing anything, but if you're doing cardio for a long period of time and you don't have any water in your system, I've seen it happen before where you can pass out, you can collapse, and it's not fun. It's not a good experience to have. So I would say always make sure you have at least at least a freaking gallon of water in you throughout the day. It's not that's honestly not hard. So just make sure you have water and you're hydrated because that's gonna be a big disadvantage right there too. If you're not feeling a hundred percent or you're not hydrated hundred percent, it's gonna kill your body. The next thing I want to talk about is I have it right here. Is actually fasted cardio, and this is a big lesson for me because I'm honestly I'm not bad not bad on about it because I do eat before uh, doing fasted cardio. I have like a banana, or I'll have like a little bit of oatmeal, but it's actually really bad for you to go and do cardio on an empty stomach because naturally. Your body's not going to burn fat, it's going to burn its muscle fiber because it has nothing in the stomach to stimulate. So if you think you're burning that reserve fat, you're wrong. It's not. The first thing it's going to do is eat at your muscle fibers your, and your uh, protein system isn't going to be open. So you're pretty much just destroying any kind of progress you made. And uh, lucky for me, I usually do eat before, so I'm not that well off. So I'm going to rethink about how I do fasted cardio now. But whoever has taught, said fasted cardio, make sure that you have something in your stomach if you're doing cardio that early in the morning because typically uh, it's not a healthy way to be and it's more likely hurting your progress. You're doing too much cardio. It actually does slow down your metabolism. So uh, that's another thing is if you're a cardio freak or you feel like cardio is being the way to get you to fat loss, that's going to slow down your metabolism so you're not going to process food the same way. So like I said, just be careful about how much cardio you guys do because Put in the proper work. If your diet's somewhat clean, if you're consistently doing it at a good, moderate time, like I said, 30 minutes is ideal. If you can get 30 minutes in cardio a day, you'll see progress. And then just eating somewhat clean. If you're eating really bad, you're not gonna outwork that bad diet. That's where you should start first. If you're watching this video, the first thing you should think reconsider about is your diet and where it's at if you're really trying to do fat loss. But um, just making sure that you're properly ready for whatever you're doing. And then the last thing I want to close out with is, um, for me, like I said, cardio is not my favorite thing to do. This video is actually very interesting to me, but it was very enlightening, learning about some of the different things that there are out there. Faster cardio being one of them. But uh, just know there's no kind of shortcut. Um, if you're battling with fat loss, you want to lose a little bit of body weight. If you're trying to tone up, just be consistent. That's the one thing I always preach is consistency is where you're going to find the best results. And that's what's going to help you stay in the shape that you want to be in or get you to that kind of goal. So don't think that, oh, if I do cardio for a week, I'm going to have a flat stomach. Oh, if I do this, so much of this, uh, it's going to No, it's a constant everyday thing. I've been at this probably close to two and a half years now. And the reason why I am where I'm at is because I'm still in the gym every day. I'm still doing some kind of activity every day. I'm always keeping myself motivated. You don't stay this way by doing shortcuts or finding some magic pill or doing some magic uh, training set week thing program for two weeks, three weeks. It's everyday battle. So uh, I would preach the biggest thing about fat lo weight loss and fat loss is just consistency. If you can keep a constant routine, and that's why I wanted to do that workout routine, uh, video and I'm still gonna do that. I'm still gonna do that video because I think it'll be very beneficial Especially for the new year for people that are looking to get back in shape or have that new year's resolution of wanting to Get back in the gym So I think that would be really important right there for that video So I'm gonna end it there I hope you guys really benefited from this and take some of the advice I gave because I know I'm, I learned a lot from it. So I hope you guys reach your goals New year's coming the year is coming to an end so I'm excited to see what some of you guys are able to do, and hopefully it, this benefits you. Please, have if you have any questions, ask me. Uh, I'm easy to contact. If you can just DM me on Instagram, 
Twitter, Snapchat. If you have my number, just text me. I'm usually always on my phone, so I'll get back to you relatively fast. Uh, and I'm always appreciate. It. All right, I always like helping people out. It's always a cool experience for me. So if you guys do have any more questions, just let me know. Other than that, and I always say that the video is over, and I'm gonna go to bed because it is like almost midnight right now. So later. Okay.